Hello, well, it's uh, a bank holiday here in the UK and I'm on my own for a few days, so uh, I thought I'd uh, have the space to get back to doing some of these videos um, and also get back to wearing my really horrible old uh, blue jumper. Anyhow, um, this tune has um, been requested. I posted a, an audio version of this uh, on SoundCloud uh, on the internet a couple of months ago and a few people have asked um, could I produce a tab for it or um, a video so I've done both so in the show notes below you'll see the link for the tab um, this tune is a traditional tune as far as I know um, Willie O. Winsbury. I did hear a few months ago somebody describe this as a, a song written by um, the musician Andy Irvine. Now I don't know about that. Um, I know the tune is Willie O. Winsbury. You might also know it um, because Richard Thompson put um, words to it for one of the Fairport Convention albums and I've also seen it uh, the tune used for other lyrics as well so I don't know as far as I know it's a traditional tune it's a very simple tune um, as many of the best ones are uh, and it's not particularly complicated to play I use this really uh, just to practice touch and feel now the video that you're going to see in a minute was recorded pretty quickly and you can see uh, where I need to improve on that really um, but although it's quite simple it does illustrate some of the characteristics of Dad Gad that I'm trying to get across in this series so um, before we do anything else uh, let's hear the tune Okay, so let's get started. So I'll start with an introduction, uh, a simple intro because it's such a simple song uh, and I, I tend to change it a lot, but this is more or less what's in the tab. And I'm gonna use it to move from the top 
uh, of the scale down uh, down here somewhere. <laughs> Now, Dakar is one of these tunings that likes um, ver likes you to play down the neck. You get a lot of variation. Uh, you've still got the open strings ringing out. So I'm just starting this with a simple uh, first chord here, which would be a D if we didn't have the capo. So I'm um, uh, th third string, normal D shape, and then the first and second open. And then descending on the, f on the first string. Then going down an octave, the ninth fret there, and then picking up the melody on the uh, second string. Ending up on a fifth chord there. Now, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm using this as the anchor, and I've talked about this before. That's my anchor in the bass. And I'm looking for sympathetic chords or shapes around that, so. So that's quite straightforward. And then we get into the song itself. Now, one of the things that you find Dagad, you'll sell doing in Dagad a lot is going uh, across the frets. I know, something like that. Um, but you can also do it, uh, if you imagine a bar across a fret here, um, you know, you can move the, from the strings, but staying in the same fret. Not a very good example, but there you go. And that's what I'm going to do next as I get into the tune, so... Just playing across those uh, top three strings there. And I'm going to end up uh, back at that first shape again. Back on the melody on the first string. Then down to a kind of drop D G shape. Second fret, um, second string. G. And then I'm going to vary it. Again, run through that again. So this time, second second run through, I'm going to change it. So I am still playing on the first. I'm moving back down to that G shape there, or fourth. But instead of playing it in that direction, as I was before, I'm using it to push in this direction because I want to go back down to that octave on the first string again. And then I'm going to descend. And just repeat it. So we go 
going to do that little run across the strings. First. Now variation. Down an octave. Descend on the second. Down an octave. Descend on the fifth side. Here we go. Another first, the fifth fret. So I hope that helps. Um, all of that's in the tab. Um, it won't take you long to get hold of it, and with a bit of luck, you're playing it with a bit more assurance than uh, than I did there. Thanks very much for listening, and uh, I'm going to have a look at another one shortly, um, and we're going to have a look at the key of G. Thanks for listening.